So it's estimated that one in five people globally have inherited high LP little a, 63 million in the United States. Unfortunately for some people, the first sign of disease like me is a heart attack or a stroke. I didn't know anything about heart disease or LP little a before my heart event. Well, when I was 41, I was out teaching an exercise class and I felt a constriction in my throat and my lungs. So I just assumed that um, there was a gardener near us that I had inhaled some type of solvent from the, the gardener. And so I continued and I ignored my symptoms. And the next day I was at a birthday party. I was climbing up the stairs and I couldn't, I was sweating and I had trouble breathing and I felt nauseous. And I thought something was strange. So a friend of mine told me or recommended that I go to the urgent care. So the cardiologist said, let me give you peace of mind. So he did a CT angiogram and to his shock and mine, it was at least 90% blockage. So he did a, an angiogram which showed that I had 99% blockage of my LAD, which was a huge shock because I had never even heard of you know, women having heart disease. I did everything right. I was 41, I exercised, I ate healthy. I went to the doctor every year. I got my HDL and my LDL checked at the time. It was all perfect. So I had no idea and I didn't understand how this could happen to me when I did what I was supposed to do. So that said, I went in uh, back to the hospital and they performed bypass on me, a single bypass of my LAD. And from that point on, I knew because I did everything right, how could this happen to me? Like this shouldn't happen to me. And if it happened to me, it could happen to a lot of other people. So I went back home and I recovered and I learned as much and educated myself as much as I could about heart disease. And I learned that my issue was my lipoprotein little a was highly elevated. I, at the time, had never even heard of lipoprotein little a because it was never tested, even though I was diligent and every year I went to the doctor and I had my blood work done and it always showed perfect. This was not one of my routine tests. And I feel that there should be a standardized test for lipoprotein little a along with the HDL and LDL tests. One of, one of the main reasons I'm advocating for the lipoprotein A foundation is because if this happens to me, this can happen to anyone, especially my children, since it, it, it is an inherent disease, that I want answers and I don't want them to go through what I went through. My advice to people is to please get tested for lipoprotein little a. When I think about my story and everything that happened to me, first of all, I, I get angry that I didn't have the choice to make since I didn't know anything about lipoprotein little a. If I had before this, I feel like I could have done something to hopefully prevent it or slow down the chances, but I never had the opportunity since I didn't even know it existed. You don't have to have poor lifestyle habits to have high lipoprotein little a. Diet and exercise have little to no impact on lowering LP little a. If you have high LP little a, your children have at least a 50% chance of inheriting it. For more information on lipoprotein little a, go to the Lipoprotein A Foundation at www.testlpa.org. Did you know 63 million Americans have a high risk of inherited cardiovascular disease and they may not know it? Traditional cholesterol tests miss 8% of people who have a cardiovascular event whose only risk factor is high LPA.